Uh, hello, viewers. Uh, the topic is uh, uh, carbapenem resistant uh, electrobacteria, uh, uh, also known as CRE. Uh, CRE are bacteria that have developed resistance to multiple antibiotics, including uh, uh, carbapenem, you know. And CRE can cause uh, many types of infections and are difficult to treat. Uh, CRE bacteria develop uh, uh, when uh, genetic material uh, develops resistant uh, uh, resistant mechanisms uh, to antibiotics and uh, is then transferred to other bacteria. You know, uh, the symptoms of CRE infection include urinary tract infection, cyanosis, sepsis, pneumonia, fever, uh, septic shock, and uh, low blood pressure. And other healthcare professionals who treat uh, the CR infections uh, include like emergency medical physicians or infectious disease specialists, you know. And diagnosis of CR infections usually involves uh, demonstrating the organism's resistance uh, to multiple antibiotics, including uh, carbapenem and uh, by PCR tests as well. Uh, treatment of uh, carbapenem resistant uh, uh, enterobacteria is infection is difficult and uh, should uh, involve the consultant uh, um, who specializes in the infectious diseases, you know, uh, and to to help determine uh, the the mix of antibiotics that may be uh, more uh, useful or more effective on uh, for each individual, you know. Uh, prevention of uh, this infection is possible using guidelines, you know, and provided to, to the hospitals. And the risk factors uh, include like uh, contact with a person uh, who is suffering for, with the uh, CR infection and uh, or uh, contact with the instruments, you know, that has been used uh, on a contaminated and contaminated, you know, and uh, individuals who have received multiple antibiotics uh, or have been treated, you know. Uh, with multiple antibiotics uh, and uh, the medical um, caregivers, you know, who work in the hospitals. Uh, prognosis is uh, uh, poor uh, and uh, if sepsis develops, you know, then uh, um, uh, the death rate is between 40 to 50 percent. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information, you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com. Thank you.